What's happening everyone and welcome on back to the channel. Hope you're doing well, hope you're feeling good, hope that you're chopping some good wood wherever you are. Let's go ahead and listen to Led's, what does that mean? Let's go ahead and listen to Led Zeppelin. We're going to listen to the track Ramble On. Now, uh, will this first, will this technically be a first listen or a song review? It's a little bit of both, okay? Because I know the part where he says, Ramble On, bum, bum, bum. that's in my head, that's all I know. <laughs> I'm sure that as I like start it, I'll probably recognize the very beginning and such. I'm sure that this is going to be a song review and not a first listen, but I'm not saying yes or no until I actually hear it. But I do know that part. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, listen to the track. We'll talk about it after. Let's dive in. And then that part. We have a double track guitar here. I like that sound. It's a wonderful guitar work here. I like how it's a fade out, but the music is still kind of wobbling on the side, so it's like a very interesting kind of fade out that's happening right now. That's an interesting kind of fade out. I, like, obviously the music's great, right? Duh, right? It was Led Zeppelin, Ramble On. Obviously it's great. But just really quick on that ending, I like how the fade out wasn't like a little bit of a decline, but it's almost like it quickly declined, stayed at a certain level, and then like the production was kind of working back and forth on the sides, kind of ebbing back and forth, and then it, it hit its final decline there, which I just thought was kind of a really interesting moment there. Okay, so I, I recognize enough of this song so that it's a song review, not a first listen. Get that out the way, right? But how great of a track is this? First of all, I, I, I don't know, you speak for yourself, but I my favorite moment in this track is that Ram alone, and then bum bum bum. That little space, John Paul Jones, give him that little bit to work with. Of course, bottom on the drums, kicking it up behind him. But just that little moment makes that chorus, and, and it's just that defining moment in the track that just makes it for me. It's such a small moment, but it's those details, it's those small little moments that make sometimes the whole picture. And for me, that is that. Obviously, the, the chorus is great. I love the way he sings that out, and how he starts from a very kind of like low-key singing delivery and it, within the first verse and at the end of the first verse he's ready to kick it up a little bit and that energy is maintained and focused throughout for the remainder of the track uh what else the guitar work is spectacular i like how uh obviously page but uh let me see if anyone else is playing guitar with him specifically on this track because you do hear at least two guitars from what i can tell um, it doesn't look like it. It looks like it is just Paige. So I'm assuming that he's just overdubbing his own guitar lines, one playing rhythm and one playing lead. And it's this really ni nice balance that's kind of folky in a way, um, but very moving. It's a very forward folk sound that, that's being played there. And Paul Jones, his bass playing, obviously the moment I talked about, but besides that, when it comes down into the verse off the energy of the chorus, it is so satisfying and relaxing to listen to, isn't it? Just the way it comes down. Bum, 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 bum. Like, it's very warm. And I really like how strong it is, but subtle at the same time it is there. That's fantastic. Um, everything in there is great. Duh, right? Let's dive into these lyrics, which uh, something interesting was said uh, at the end of this track about Mordor. <clears throat> so is this... <laughs> I don't know. Is this about Lord of the Rings? Or is this just... They just made a reference. Let's see. The leaves are falling all around time. I was on my way. Thanks to you, I'm much obliged for such a pleasant stay. But now it's time for me to go. The autumn moon lights my way. For now I smell the rain and with it pain, and it's headed my way. Sometimes I grow so tired, but I know I've got one thing I've got to do. Ramble on, and now's the time. The time is now to sing my song. I'm going around the world, got to find my girl. On my way, I've been this way 10 years to the day. Ramble on, got to find my queen of all my dreams. So... He's not one to sit down, uh, rest on his laurels, for lack of a better word. He is one to move on because he has a certain year. He, he says a girl, but he has a certain dream, goal, place that he's trying to get to and attain. And he doesn't have time to stop and dilly-dally, uh, even though there's a little bit of dallying. Uh, let's get to the third verse, though. Mine's a tale that can't be told. My freedom I hold dear. How years ago in days of old when magic filled the air. T'was the, in the darkest depths of Mordor I met a girl so fair. But Gollum and the evil one, I didn't even see that. But Gollum and the evil one crept up and slipped away with her. 
I guess there's nothing I can do now. I guess I'll keep ra going rambling. Okay, so I'm thinking this is, he just more referenced it uh, there in the song than this is specifically about Lord of the Rings. Um, but I do think it's interesting how he, he brought that in for a little bit of a, a literary reference and, you know, um, compared to, compare that to his situation. And then he's like, hey, I, I, I ain't got time for this. I got to ramble on. I got to keep on going. Let's dive into uh, some of the information as there is a whole Wikipedia page about this particular track. It says, uh, as we've noticed, the song's lyrics were influenced by The Lord of the Rings. It was not released as a vinyl single in the U.S. or U.K., but the album reached number one in both the U.S. and the U.K., and over 12 million copies sold. Uh, it was co-written by Page and Plant, lyrics mainly by Plant. The song's lyrics, especially in the first and third verse, are influenced by Lord of the Rings. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, okay. So, like I said, I don't think it's like the whole song is about Lord of the Rings, but obviously those references are there, and just kind of comparing that and relating it to his life and time. Or situation at the time that's what i meant to say what i also meant to say is let me know what you guys thought of the track you can let me know in the comments down below you can follow me over on twitter you can support the channel what i do over on patreon but otherwise please enjoy the rest of your day please come on back tomorrow and i'll see you all then guys oh almost knocked over i almost knocked over my coffee thanks guys <laughs>